Hey guys, this is MacHeads101 with a video on our new Mac app that we're releasing today. So this app is called Pasties and basically it's a simple program that lets you post text to pasting sites. So right here it is in my apps folder. You can have a look at the icon. We go ahead and open this. And when you first open it, it'll ask you to add it at your login, uh, to add it to your login items. But I've already done that since I've opened this before. So it adds this thing to our menu bar. We just tap there and let's check out the preferences. So our default language is the programming language that it will put in certain places by default. And our default service is Pasty. It supports three uh, services right now. We're going to hopefully add some more in the future. And then you can have it auto detect the language. I'll show you that later. And start pasties at login. If you don't have this enabled, then this won't come up whenever you uh, restart your computer. You'll have to open it manually. So I highly suggest checking that. All right. So let's go ahead and create a new paste with pasty. And let's have a look at uh, the interface. So we'll tap on this button in our menu bar and we'll say new paste. And it'll come up pretty simple window, big text area. We can select our language uh, for the service. Obviously, different services support different languages, so Pastebin's list looks a bit different than Pasty's list. I'm going to be using Pasty, and this is going to be Objective-C. Here, we're going to write some code. I'll just write a simple hello world program. All right, and let's go ahead and tap paste. This little pasting window will come up, and once it's done, it'll bring this success. We can just say view in browser. Just flies up here in our browser, in our default browser. And Pasty actually supports syntax highlighting. All of the services that we use right now do. So you'll see that since we specified that it's Objective-C, it's highlighted in a very nice way. So now let's go ahead and um, I'm going to show you another feature that this has, and that's pasting from the clipboard. So let's throw up Xcode, and this is actually the source code for pasties right here. So we're in this file, and I'll select all, and I'll copy it. So let's say I've copied this source code to my clipboard, which I have. So we can go here and say paste clipboard, and I'll post it to my default service in my default language. And as you can see, it's posted. And we just check it out in our browser. Syntax highlighting works and everything. This is the file I just copied. So uh, that's pretty cool. Let's have a look and see what else we can do. So there's a history. It records all of the pace you made and the time that you made them. You can obviously select some and delete them. So that's cool. Now let's check out the auto detect language feature. So let's go ahead in our preferences and let's just set this language to be plain text. Where is it? I can't find it. Plain text. Okay, so right now if we were to paste my clipboard, let me just show you what it will look like. Even though it's Objective-C code, since our default language is plain text, there's no highlighting. It looks very ugly. So what we can do is we can go into the preferences and check auto detect language when pasting from clipboard. And basically this is what it sounds like when you paste your clipboard. If it can figure out what language it is and what programming language it is, it'll automatically tell the website what language. So now if we paste my clipboard, even though I'm in plain text mode, my default language is plain text, it will know that it's Objective-C and Pasty will uh, then be able to highlight my code correctly. So that works for pretty much all of the services pretty well. There are a few bugs like, for instance, Pastebin has something called spam detection, which if you have like links in your code and you uh, paste bin something it gets mad and the paste doesn't actually go through so I wouldn't suggest I, I just don't like paste bin anyway paste bay and pasty are probably your best bets uh, for pasting services so that's this is just a cool little utility for all the programmers out there um, it's good for IM chat specifically because you can't necessarily send code and even if you can it's gonna be formatted in a horrible way so this is a pretty useful app I've already used it a bunch uh, before I even, you know, just testing it out and everything. and uh, I've had it running for the last couple days, just use it on and off. So it's a really cool app, so definitely check it out. Link will be in the description to download it, and the source code will be available on Git. It's already on Git, by the way. Uh, some of you may or may not have noticed that. So anyway, thanks for watching MacHeads101. Subscribe, and goodbye.